the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. Adesanya will snipe you. That's the thing. Ladies and gentlemen, the last style bender and the new interim UFC middleweight champion of the world. How does it feel and how does it look? Straight up, I am player one. I've said People, this, every time I've said something, I said, I'm the UFC middleweight champion from my UFC debut. You just don't know it yet. I did that from my UFC debut, and I did. My, before my, my UFC debut, I said I was going to fight Robert Whitaker for this belt in 2019, and I did. I said I'm going to beat John Jones 2021 Raider Stadium International Fight Week, and I will. Well, to G myself up sometimes, if you ever feel, you know, down sometimes you look at yourself and you look after you. your mental health mm -hmm. just like if you don't look after your physical health right you're going to get physically ill so you have to be on top of it you get strangled all the time i fucking that hate helps. that word man honestly yeah. it's so overused and i've said it but before i'm real. like i'm like what's humble because i've asked right. especially in new zealand this is a culture of like people even like they they don't like me because it's oh he's not as he's not humble like a, a true kiwi he's not mm -hmm. you know like the all blacks you know humble it's because and i tell those kids don't worry, because a lot of them, they think this is how life is going to be forever. This is it. And I remember being that kid. So if I could if I could go back and tell myself anything, is just keep going, because eventually, you know, you, you don't, you're not going to peak in high school. But they will. Mm. I go back to the, the, the town I, that, that I was at then, and I see a lot of them now. Because even in my brain, when I, when I think, he told me, like I said, don't lose focus. And that's why even right now, like I said, FOMO, I'm like, you know, all this shit is cool. This victory tour, you know, mm. rating this shit around. It's nice, it's but... in a way, so... I want, yeah, if I can conquer myself, I can conquer anyone. So, yeah, this is a part of not just my training, but just life in general, learning how to just be alone with my own thoughts. And, and like, and I, you know why I recognize jealousy in other people? I used to be that guy. Yeah. I used to, I wouldn't say hate everyone, but it was one of my friends. I saw my Instagram the story who I was jealous of because he was working in the mines, getting like 2500 a week. And he was telling me, this is when I just moved to Auckland. He was telling me, come through, get some work. I'll, I'll look after, I'll make sure you get this job and get on the same pay as me. And after a while, I realized I stopped like fucking with him or like tech. For me, I just knew I had to go to that place. And that's what my coach said, go to that place, embrace the darkness, go numb. And I looked across the cage from him and I said, you'll never beat me. I'm willing to die. Like, I was, And I meant that, like, if this is how I go out, this is how I go out. Hi. And I, I, dude, I put left foot down, I foot on the pedal and... Even when I watch the fight again, when I watch the fight again, I get sweaty palms, my heart's racing. Mm. Dude, I put left foot down, I foot on the pedal, and even when I watch the fight again, when I watch the fight again, I get sweaty palms, my heart's racing. Mm. I feel the emotions, and I was surprised, like the pace I put after doing what I did for already what, 20 minutes, the pace I put on him in that fifth round. That's some shit that I don't want to toot my own horn, but man, that's legendary. Shit.